Hello my friends, this is Austrian Stacker. I hope you're all doing very well and I hope you're having a great weekend. A few weeks ago I've asked you what the topics of my next videos should be and this was your answer. So, let's talk about security. Hello my friends, I hope you're all having a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in. As said, we're going to talk about security today. So when talking about security, what most people usually forget about is that security starts with the most important point, that's shut up. Do not tell people that you have a lot of gold and silver at home, if so. <laughs> and you should also not tell people you do not really trust that you have a lot of gold and silver at the bank, for example, or in a uh, safety locker or whatever. There is no need to tell anyone. The more people know about the fact that you store cash, um, jewelry, expensive watches, gold, silver, whatsoever, um, the more you put yourself and your family at risk. It doesn't mean that nobody should know. Because if you, for example, have an accident and your family doesn't know um, where you buried your gold and silver, uh, it might also cause serious issues. So just tell the people you really trust. And an advice um, to other people, who content creators, um, some people don't show their face and they don't show their houses and... Um, they, they don't tell other people where they are living, don't share their addresses um, on their YouTube channels um, for security reasons. But then they literally send their address to everybody who's asking them to do a sticker trade. Um, this is the reason I, I can just recommend, like you can see here. I have a post box and so does, for example, I have my friend Polly Buck, <laughs> who also has a post box. So obviously he's a person who cares about his and his family's security. Um, so be careful with whom you share the address. I mean, it might be less dangerous if you do sticker trades with people from abroad. For example, as a European, if you do sticker trades with people from the US or vice versa. Um, but be careful with sharing your address. <clears throat> Because, yeah, um, as I said, yeah, it's, it, it might be dangerous for you or your family if too many people know that you're hoarding tons of gold and silver or cash uh, in your home. So first, shut up. Just tell the people for whom it's, it's really necessary to know where your precious metals are, that you have them. And... Don't share it with everybody that you have precious metals or cash or jewelry or whatever at home or at any other place. The second important thing is you should have a good alarm system. This is not just to protect your precious metals. This is also to protect you. Um, when you leave home, you should activate your alarm system. When you go to bed at night, you should activate your alarm system. And in a lot of cases, it's already enough that people know that you have an alarm system. So you should have uh, the alarm flashlight, for example, um, the alarm light outside where you can really see it very well from the street. Um, that you have an alarm system, put stickers on your fence and, and on your doors. And this is usually 
in a lot of cases already enough to keep burgers away um, because usually what they are trying to do is they, they're trying to find the places where they can get in quickest. I talked to a policeman once and he told me on average um, it takes two to three t minutes. So they try to get in as quick as possible. They try to take whatever they can find easily. Usually they don't take like half an hour to search your whole house or your whole flat. Um, usually everything goes very quickly and they try to minimize the risk and this is why they go in and out very quickly. So if you make it more difficult for them um, to get into your house, um, the, the likelihood that they choose your house um, decreases. So a good alarm system, system is something you should definitely ha not have and show the others that you have an alarm system. Put stickers on doors. Um, I talked about the alarm light. So put this somewhere where everybody can see it already from the neighboring streets. And this is point number two on the list. What is point number three on the list? It's your front door. And what people usually forget is they buy the best, most secure front door you can get and then they forget about the windows. Or they have a very cheap back door, for example, to save money. Um, then it doesn't make any sense at all. So the whole concept of your house um, must be really good and, and everything must fit together. So the, the best front door you can buy for money doesn't make any sense if then your windows, terrace doors or whatever um, are not safe. I will show you what it means to have a safe front door because I have a high security front door. So, and what your windows should also have, they should have also metal bolts and a good locking system. And as your front doors, they should also have a steel frame. So, to summarize, this, the whole concept should fit together. Yeah? So, you should have an alarm system, you should have a high security front door. But also all of your windows must be the same security class. So take care about massive steel bolts or, or closing systems. Um, take care about steel frames. And all of this must fit together because Trudeau will always choose the weakest point at the house. And usually it's not the front door because everybody takes care about a secure front door. So also care about the windows and every possibility from wherever you could entrance uh, your house. An additional um, security measure for your um, windows, for example, are rough stores. So if you close them and they are of good quality and they have a good security class, it almost makes it impossible to even get to the window. We have this in all terrace doors and windows. So whenever we um, are on vacation or we, we leave home, for example, we close all of, it, all of them. So it's almost impossible to get to the windows. And also an, a big advantage is um, they are delaying the whole process. And usually people try to get into your house. They don't take too much time, as said before. So it would make a lot of noise um, to first destroy, for example, the rough stores before you can go, um, before you can, can, can reach the windows. So it's already delaying the process. The chance that neighbors get aware of it is, is much higher. And in our case, even the alarm would already go on. So every additional step makes uh, that make, that delays the whole process of getting into your house, um, makes your house safer. So what can you do into, in the house, inside the house? Um, you should not leave your precious metals on your desk, for example. So you should also have a safe place where to store it. And I will show you where this is in my case. Um, I have to say, I don't have too much cash and, and precious metals at home, 
I usually store them at a very safe place um, out of, outside of my home. So I just have a part at home. Uh, I have some cash at home um, just in case. And I have gold and silver at home, but I said just a part of my stack. Uh, and where I store this, I will show you today. So this is a cupboard in my office. And as you can see here, there are two locks. And this is actually where I store my precious metals, or at least the, the smaller part of my precious metals I have at home. So let's find out what is in there. First of all, this is massive wood, so not easy to open. Then you can see here is part of my silver stack. And here it's getting more interesting. So here is world coins, banknotes, and so on I'm collecting. And here is a safe with a very high security glass. I will not show you how to open it. So as you can see, here is part of our gold. We always have, for example, some cash at home. And actually, this is... So this is how we store our precious metals at home. As I said, I'd pay more attention to the security of our house than you know, to secure everything inside the house, um, because I think it's the most important thing, but also inside the house. Yeah, I said, you, you might have visitors, um, people coming over, so I don't leave my precious metals lying around, I just have them locked in here. And I intentionally kept it, yeah, very, um, yeah, I didn't want to look at like a, like a vault or something, because if somebody's asking me what I've locked in there, I just say, um, it's documents for business. And yeah, I say, I store company documents here and you it never happened that anybody asked for details or something. So this is our point number four. You should have a safe or a vault. And point number five is, I call it different safe locations. Your house might be the safest place on this planet, but you should not store everything at home in your house. Why is that? Natural disasters or, uh, I don't know, a fire or whatever reason, yeah, that um, yeah, may require you to leave your house very quickly or that makes it impossible to return to your house. And this is actually the reason why you should always store your precious metals at different safe places. Um, but you should not forget where you have stored it. Yeah? So I heard about people, there are these stories around about people who buried their precious metals in the woods or something, and then they couldn't remember where it was and couldn't find it anymore. So this doesn't make any sense. But a safe location, for example, is, uh, for example, in, in, in my office, in, in the company, um, I also have uh, uh, a vault. So I also have a part stored there because I'm the only one who has access to this to this vault. Um, you might have a safe place at your parents' house where you can store something. Um, you might find a, a place below the roof uh, of your friend's house or whatever um, if you trust him. So you can go um, yeah, to, to companies who are renting out uh, sa safety uh, lockers and or, um, safety uh, deposit boxes. Um, I don't know exactly how you call them in the, in the US or in, in the UK. Um, so I think best is a mixture of all of it. Uh, a lot of people don't trust um, banks or, or companies renting out safety deposit boxes. Um, I, I don't have an issue with them, so I do not see 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid of, of, of that the content of my safety deposit box gets seized or something. But there are a lot of people who don't trust them, but you, you'll find a lot of other places, yeah. But again, rule number one applies, shut up. <laughs> if you tell everybody where it is, um, you do not even put yourself, but also your family at risk. If you, for example, store it in your parents' house. So keep it, keep this information secret. Um, just talk to the people who need to know about it. And these are actually the five topics how I keep my or how I try to keep my gold and silver safe. Um, to summarize it, shut up so don't tell people who don't need to know that you have precious metals or cash or jewelry or whatever at home. Second, take care about a good alarm system, free um, secure security front doors and, and windows. But as I said, the concept must fit together. Yeah, so the, the, the best front door doesn't help anything if doesn't help at all if the windows are not secure. So uh, the concept must fit together. Then uh, have a safe or a vault. Don't leave the things just lying around because visitors might come over or a neighbor or whatever. So they should not see that you have tons of gold and silver platinum at home. <laughs> so have a safe or a vault. And point number five, don't keep everything at one at the same location because it might be the case that you cannot return home or that there is a natural disaster or whatever. And then you should have the things stored at different locations. So that was it for today. Please tell me in the comments below what, how, how do you um, make, um, um, no, how to say. <laughs> Please tell me in the comments below what are your thoughts about security and, and keeping your, your stack safe and but still making it accessible to family members in case of something happens to you. So I'm really looking forward to a good discussion in the comments below. Stay safe and healthy. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and hope to see you soon again. Servus.